All right, hello North Geeks. We're here with Allie at R&B Brewing, and we just finished a really exciting uh, brewery tour led by Rick over there. Um, and we have a couple questions for you, Allie. We were just wondering, what lies ahead for R&B Brewing? Do you guys have any? You already have a really nice sort of palette of beers and flavors, different styles. What kind of ideas do you guys have brewing? I would love that to expand. Uh, we're really going to try and get into the seasonals all the time, okay. putting out limited releases. Uh, the second one we had on the tour, we're actually going to put out in bottles. Oh, really? Smaller and bottles or your jumbo we're bottles? We're still doing the big ones for okay. now okay. until we can make that next leap to the six packs. Right. Um, it was supposed to be out at the beginning of May, so welcome to the brewing industry. It never happens. <laughs> so sometime in summer, we are going to put out Sun God bottles. Okay. Which will be great. Uh, we've had so much demand for it. Right. Um, we also have another little release that we're working on, but I can't tell you. Ooh, so now interesting. I have to kill you. Okay. Um, Is it worth dying? I don't think it's worth dying. It could be really good. Did okay. You see the Ice Wolves I did, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that was it great. Could, it could be a good one. Ice Wolves was great, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just trying to get on a um, basically a limited release program. Okay. All the time. Uh, we, we just ordered a new homebrew system that's coming in. Okay. Which is going to allow us to always try different beers. Oh, really, just Very really quickly, you just order it. System, okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's going to be a, a smaller oh, yeah. way to make a smaller batch for you guys yeah. to test it, and you'll invite us, of course. Oh, of course. Right, yes. of course. Yeah, anything you want to make. Cheers. a lot of ideas. <laughs> Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, Allie, and, and good luck, and I hope you guys get it out this summer in the, 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 the bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, Allie. Bye. We're here with Rick Dello, who is the R, the backwards one in R&B Brewing. Rick just uh, led the tour of the brewery, very educational and entertaining. Rick, we have a question for you. We know that uh, you started this, you said nine years ago? You started 13 years ago. Oh, 13 years ago. Sorry, with Barry. With Barry. Okay. So, um, a lot of people that are going to be checking out this series on North Geek are beer enthusiasts looking to maybe start doing their own home brews and see if they can create their own concoctions that are as delicious as they are in beer brews. What kind of advice do you have for them? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to say. Like, yeah. <laughs> just buy our beer and then we'll both be happy. But, um, no, if you're going to start a brewery, then really research it. Yeah. Um, research the cost, research the market, and, and then research it again. And just make sure that when you spend, unless you've got your own money to burn, you'll be spending someone else's money. Spend it wisely. Right, okay. Yeah. And so when, when you uh, first got to Vancouver, did you come to Vancouver with the idea of opening a brewery? <laughs> no, I came to Vancouver as a lifestyle refugee. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, escaping Thatcherism. Okay. Here we are surrounded with it again, yeah. in a different form. <laughs> Touche. Um, but um, no, that, but, but my, my background was brewing, and I thought that I was going to have to give up on brewing, okay. um, just because there aren't the same openings. Right. There weren't 20 years ago, the openings for brewers in North America as right. were in the UK at the time. Um, but um, I found a few things, and then Barry and I realized we wanted to open a brewery, and that became our, our, our career progression. And, and how did you become so well versed in brewing? How, did, is it all self-taught? Did you buy books? And... Um, I, well, I started working. My first job when I left school was working in a bank, and that was the most boring month of my life. Okay. And then I got. I, I did a few other jobs, and I ended up at uh, a brewery just outside Manchester. The, okay. The, the old Whitbread Brewery, and it just seemed so much fun. And then um, after five years of that, I went to university, got a degree in brewing, and oh, really. Uh, and kind of just expanded it from there. Wow. All right, Rick. Well, all the best to you, and uh, thank you for Craft Beer Week. So make the best of it, and uh, enjoy, and, and good luck. And we look forward to seeing you guys selling uh, across the board. So. Cheers for everyone. Thanks. All right, so I'm here with the better half of R&B Brewing. This is Barry, who started this 13 years ago with Rick. Barry, um, everyone knows that this is Vancouver Craft Beer Week here in Vancouver, and that's why we're here. That's why we did this tour. And, there's a lot of great events going on, and we just wanted to know, what does Vancouver Craft Beer Week mean to R&B Brewing? Well, uh, not only to R&B Brewing, but uh, most of the breweries in BC and, and the people who appreciate beer, it really opens up the uh, public who previously didn't know a lot about what goes on in the city to what goes on in the city. Uh, everything from uh, the art of pairing beer with food at beer dinners to uh, the abundance of newer uh, retail establishments that, that are bringing in a, a, a plethora of beers that you just couldn't get before, uh, as well as just uh, raising awareness of uh, what is good about beer. Okay. And if you had to summarize 
what makes BC beer either different or better than beer that you can get anywhere else, either in Canada or abroad? What would you say? What is it about BC beer that's your main selling point to those that haven't given it a try? Yet? Well, I always come back to uh, the passion of the brewers in BC, but the water in BC is spectacular. Uh, it's uh, it's a culmination of, of everything. There's the passion. There's the ingredients. There's the uh, the growing climate of, of beer appreciation in, in the province. Uh, it, it, you can I, I couldn't just nail it down to one thing. It would be unfair. It's 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 a huge grouping of, of positive attributes that, that bring everything together. And it sounds like it's really a passion that everyone sort of shares together. And everyone knows that they're part of this fraternity of BC brewers, and everyone's working for the same cause, I guess? Yeah, we all appreciate each other's passion. We all know each other. We all appreciate what each other does. Uh, we all love what, what each other does as tests and trials. And and, and, and we comment, uh, positive or negative, and he's a little more this or it doesn't. And, and the, the Cast Beer Festival is just the most outrageous uh, combinations and, and experimental uh, sides of people that you've never even thought existed. So great. everything's great. All right, very well. Good luck. Thanks for your time. And uh, best of luck for Army Brewing. And enjoy that for the rest of your weekend. We'll see you around soon. Appreciate that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Curious, thanks a lot.